happy Saturday everyone welcome um, so I'm going live again and I'm gonna do um, some sweet banana bread muffins uh, so we're gonna make like a an actual like cake because I don't have the cookware with me so I'm not at home today I'm actually away so I'm using the resources that we have found <laughs> um, so I've got my bowl I've got bananas I've got a couple of them if we need them um, so I'm gonna hand them over to my helper my lovely sexy helper <laughs> um, he's going to mash up uh, about a cup of bananas so it actually calls for three quarters of a cup of mashed bananas um, but I want a little bit more of a banana flavor in there so we're gonna do a little bit more than what it calls for um, so this is the baking sheet that we found um, so I'm gonna put it into a round cake pan and then we'll slice it up because when you eat it really it all tastes the same inside right doesn't matter what it really looks like as long as we enjoy it um, so I need So while he does the ripe bananas, it actually says two medium ripe bananas, but it says approximately um, three quarters of a cup. And then we're gonna whisk in two eggs and one third cup of an oil of oil, and then we'll stir in the mix after. Okay. So when it's when we're stirring in the mix. Um, there is no whisk here so not the whisk that we would use in our kitchen so my helper he went digging through all of the old stuff here and check out what we found or what he found so this is the mixer so cool right so it's one of the old school now I always say that my grandma's mixer, the electric mixer, is awesome and I use it all the time, but this thing almost tops that. So I'm excited. Once we put in um, the eggs and the oil, I'll be using this and you can see how it works. So you got that mixed up, mashed up. Well. Happy Saturday, everyone. If you're having a little drink, enjoy the sun enjoy your day off if you have the day off okay so it goes into the bowl and then we need um a third of a cup of oil if you can do that and i will press the eggs so we've got Two eggs. Yep. So I'm also going to be adding a little bit of chocolate chips for an extra little zing. Thank you very much. So then we add the oil and the two eggs in with the mashed bananas. All right, time to use it. Here we go. Ooh. Can you um, grab that camera for me, please, and show everyone what it looks like inside the bowl? This is pretty cool. Yeah. So, check it out. This thing is super cool. So instead of a whisk, this is a whisk mixer. You can hear it's spinning around, working, and it's working fantastic. Okay. 
So I'm just gonna do a little bit more here. And then I'll add, there we go. Okay, so we'll do that for right now. Scissors, please. So now I'm gonna add, oh, actually with the oil, can you, um, so we're gonna lightly oil the pan. with the brush. And so while he's doing that, I'm going to add the mix. So it says stir in the mix, scraping batter into lightly oiled pan. Smooth the top. So for anyone, if anyone is just jumping on, we're making sweet banana bread. Okay. So I'm going to mix this up again. Oh man, this is so hard. Like, oh wow. <laughs> yeah, it's working. Yeah, so how about I just go like this for right now, get it mixed in a bit. Holy, that's thick. Lightly oiled. Perfect, thank you. Um, the oven. Um, not yet. Um, so we're going to cook it in the oven. You can cook it in the microwave. So in the microwave, it would take eight minutes on high, and then you let it sit for six minutes um, on a wire rack to cool. But we're gonna do it in the oven. So it'll be, the oven will be preheated at 375, and it'll take about 15 to 18 minutes and allowing it to cool for 10 minutes. But before we preheat the oven, um, actually, can you mix that, please? It's a bit hard for me. Um, so before we put it in the oven and preheat it, I'm going to add some chocolate chips, but because it's a gluten-free batter, um, I learned a new trick, and that is if you let it sit for um, a, like 20 minutes to half an hour, well then it gets that gritty taste out of there uh, so that you know, it tastes a little bit more like a normal batter. Uh, so, once that's mixed up, I'm gonna add a couple of these chocolate chips. You know, cause who doesn't like a little chocolate? Actually, maybe I'll add some now while he's doing it. Perfect. Make it a little thicker for you. Anything that's good? A little more. Could so nice having a helper in the kitchen. Is it hard using that? Oh yeah. Yeah, it keeps jumping. It like well, skips. And if you don't wash your fingers, you're getting them grinded up. So it's a nice reminder that updated. <laughs> um, it, it is okay. You know, it's it's helpful in the kitchen. It speeds things along. But when you use what you have, anything will work, right? Okay. And then if you want, you can always mix it with a fork. Because we've got it mixed up for the most part. So we can just mix it with a fork. So I'll just show you here. He's got this greased up here, oiled up. batter and we'll let it sit for well I'll put it in the pan I'll show you that one okay we'll pour it in there oh yummy it looks fantastic oh this is hard for me okay 
Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're putting it in. Next time I come, I'm bringing all of my Epicure stuff because I could use the spatula, I could use my mini, um, my petite tray, <laughs> I could use my basically everything. <laughs> Okay, so you level this out. It actually looks really yummy. Um, so I'm going to let this sit, like I said, for about half an hour. I'll pop it in the oven, and when I pull it out, I'll take a picture and I'll show you. So feel free to uh, stick around and watch for the picture. Um, also, I do have um, two parties going on right now. One. Um, all proceeds are going to the Legion, and then the other one is for Crystal, and she's close at reaching her goal. So if you see anything you're interested in, ask me questions or place an order. Um, the link is there on my page at the top, or just ask me for the link. Or you can even go to Epicure uh, website and then type in Leanne Elp, and you'll see the parties there. Have a wonderful Saturday. Cheers, everyone.